in the previous episode, we got our water can starting to be um, be upgraded. And unfortunately, it may have screwed with us as we're going to find out. So tomorrow's going to be partially cloudy with a light breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's our fortune for today? Uh, spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. Hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, about that. We, we set our upgrade for the watering can thinking that I'd be able to grab it today, but today is the egg festival, which happens in town. I don't know if I can actually go over there and pick it up. And I don't know if I can pick it up afterwards either. So it's gonna be a bit of a problem. Thankfully, we're still making some money today just by dumping all these in there. But yeah, I'm a little, um, I'm a little concerned because I'm not gonna be able to water my stuff potentially. Uh, let's grab, what do I need actually? I don't think I need anything right now. No, it is Saturday. I can't get anything off of those. Let's go take care of my chickens. Chickens want to be let out, you know, just want to be, be loved on. Got to get their eggs. Got to make some mayonnaise. Hey, chickens. And we'll dump that one there and we'll dump that one there. Okay, cool. Now, let's, let's go, uh, let's go see if we can get into town and get our watering can. <laughs> Ooh, I, I hope, I hope so bad that we're able to get it, but I have a feeling that it's just not going to happen. I also should have brought my hoe with me and I could, I could go look around, but I have a feeling it's just going to be like, nope. Yeah, there it goes. Today's festival is being set up. I got to get there at 9 a.m. Ooh, this sucks. I really hope I can get my watering can. I did not think this through. All right, the festival has begun and I'm still scouting for stuff. I, yeah, I'm really hoping that it lets us out early enough. Cause I said it goes to like nine to two, but you never know with these things. Generally, I, at least I assume this is the case. Whenever I remember the festivals and stuff in the past, it's, it's always goes like until dark, like it, uh, but you finish it and then you go home and it's like dark and it's like, that's the end of your day. But I, I really hope that's not the case. I, you know what I could do? Uh, if the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop's stock. What I could do is just completely ignore the <laughs> the festival, but we ain't doing that. We're doing the festival. We're only getting one shot at this if we uh, if we only do one full year. All right, what do we got? We got strawberry seeds, which are great, but we're not going to make them. Now. Strawberry seeds are are one of the highest producing things in the spring. Um, as far as money is concerned, isn't there supposed to be, oh no, it's not, it's not this one, right? You're, you, you can get, um, scarecrows during the different festivals and whatnot, but I don't think this one actually sells it. Hello there. Shane says, I didn't read that. I accidentally clicked, uh, something about they deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. <laughs> Sorry, Shane. It does this, um. Does this count to me meeting everybody? Linus says, no one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. Clint, where's my watering can? Is there any more food, he says. Uh, Pam, he he, I put something nice into the punch. Oh no, Pam, no, don't do it. Gus, I hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. Oh, uh, hey, Maru. I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. Penny says the children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. Speaking of the children, uh, yes, I can, or I hope I can find some, or jazz. Is it jazz? Or yes. I assume it's like short for jasmine. Uh, I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. No, I'm going to take them all. Vincent says, when does the egg hunt start? I'm so excited. Bro, me too. Uh, I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. It's always the favorite part of the season. Jody says, Vincent loves this festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. You know, I'm glad that you and you and your kids are happy. Uh, let's, let's, let's talk the whole thing here. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? No, not yet. I'm not even ready. Welcome to the Egg Festival. Compliments of my wonderful brood of hens. Is that supposed to mean? Why, why does she say it so ominously? <laughs> egg. What a strange thing to eat. 
I love eggs. I eat eggs every, like almost every morning. Mmm, this fruit punch is unusually good. Pam? Leah, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. See, this is why I'm not going for Leia. She's over here hanging out with Elliot. He's got fantastic freaking Fabio hair. Abigail says searching for eggs is like going on a, tra a treasure hunt. Sam says, my doze allergies. Okay, yeah, yeah, you are you got it. You got a sniffly nose. Uh, Sebastian, we used to do a rotten egg toss. Mary Lewis put an end to that pretty quick. Ew. Sounds like that smells. Haley, this festival is all right, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. Bet you are, Haley. Alex says, I try to eat at least three eggs every day. <laughs> Did I ever talk to Harvey? No, eggs definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. Oh, uh, yeah, they definitely do. George, what's everyone so happy about? Is he a curmudgeon? Eggs, why eggs? Uh, Evelyn, this festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. It's comforting. Thanks, Evelyn. Did I ever talk to you nerds? Robin, spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off, catch up with friends. Hey, Willie, don't go away. Sometimes I'll hide an egg or uh, too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around and the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. <laughs> uh, Carolyn says, Abby's always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. Marlin says, even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. I don't think there's anybody else around for me to chat with. I think that's... Oh, wait, no. No, I, I chatted with Willie. There's only like a handful of them that wander, and I think I got them all. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, before we before we do this egg hunt, I did want to mention... Man, I have been so nervous for tomorrow. I, I don't know... Okay, so let's let's back it up. Tomorrow, I am painting... Um, at the game store and I'm, I'm doing a painting seminar. It's like a it's a it's a preview of the painting course that I'm gonna be doing with the game store where I'm teaching people how to paint miniatures and I am a great painter and I'm not saying that it's like a, a like a I'm hyper confident about it and I'm just like arrogant. No, no, no. Like I, I, I know that I'm a good painter, but I also know that I'm not the best painter out there If I had time I would do far more competitions, but I just don't have the time at the moment because busy painting it's what I do for a living um and so tomorrow I'm doing this like painting seminar yeah and I'm just like so nervous for it and I don't know why like <laughs> it's I I'm great at teaching uh it's like one of my main skills I'm, I, I love teaching things I am fine with like public speaking and talking with people I'm hyper social um that a lot of that skill comes from doing YouTube and I'm I just like, I'm a great painter, and I don't know why I'm so nervous about tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe it's the fear of something just not going right. And I think that's silly. That's silly. We all should get over that. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Yeah, let's do it, baby. I'm going to find so many damn eggs. Am I going to win? Probably not. I remember, like, there's some really weird ones. Um, How do I want to do this? I might go down this way and then up and around. There's like a bunch up over here behind buildings and whatnot. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down, kiddos. You're going to need all the energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. I don't remember what the prize is. Is it like seeds? That'd be great. <laughs> all right, here we go. I think it's a hat. It's a hat. I think it's a hat. Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin. All right, here we go. Here we go. I see one right there. Is there any there? No, there's definitely an egg. Yep. Uh, there's definitely an egg over there. Yep. And we'll go grab that. Oh, man, I've already wasted too much time. I've wasted too much time getting caught on the stupid fence here. I knew I should have gone right first. Let's grab this one. I used to have a whole method to this where I would be able to catch so many eggs. And I just, I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost touch of reality when it comes to that. Um, let's go grab this one off to the left here, which this might be a red herring to come get this one. It is so far out of there. Oh, no, there's two of them. Okay, that's better. Can I jack things from the shop? <laughs> While nobody's paying attention? Like, hey, eggs are back here. Wink. Seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, let's go for that one, too. I don't think I'm going to get it. I don't think I'm going to get it. 
Oh, I got it. Damn, that was nice. Eight eggs. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently. I feel like I say that to my kids. Uh, we I feel like I do. Oh man, am I Lewis? Oh no, I need to consider changing my behavior. <laughs> it just seems kind of mean. We'd have the cleanest town on this side of the, the gem sea. Is it me? Is it me? Did I beat the kids? And now the winner of this year's egg hunt. Abigail, damn it. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have gone left. Here's your prize. How many did she get? Tell me how she, I got eight. Did she get nine? Please. Well, that's it. Thanks for coming. Damn it. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Oh, see, you know what I say? Oh my goodness. It's 10 p. Oh no. And I can't go get it. Cause his stupid thing is open only to 4 PM. I told you, I told you, I knew it. I knew it. Ah, oh, that's so... I hate that. All right, fine. I'm gonna chop some wood down while we have some energy to do so. Ah, oh, I hate that so much. You know, when it comes to com competition painting, I actually kind of wish I could do it more because as a as a commission painter, I don't, I don't get to push myself to my absolute limit. And I know I can. I know I could do more than what I do now. And I'd be curious to see like how how much I've gotten better over the last couple of years of doing this. So, uh, but like, even when I paint my own stuff, I know I'm on a time limit. Like I don't have infinite time to paint something of my own. So I, I kind of only, only go half, uh, you know, halfway to what I could be potentially doing. That kind of sucks. It's, it's a strange, strange thing turning what is ostensibly a, a hobby for the vast majority of people into a job and, um, I guess the same thing happens with music. Like, that's the thing. That's, I, I'm a drummer. I used to be a semi-professional drummer. I used to teach people how to play drums and I was very good at it. And I kind of wish that, that I kept that up. I just, that, you know, I got married and I moved. I got rid of my drum set. And now I don't have space for a drum kit. We just bought our house, um, last February, not, not 2024, but 2023. And... Uh, yeah, we've like settled in really nice. We love our house. It's, it's a great house. Don't have the space. Just don't have the space for, for a drum kit. Which kind of sucks. I kind of wish I could get back to it. Do you guys have any hobbies? Um, or like things that you normally do that you would, that you would like to do, but you just aren't able to do anymore. Let's, uh, let's pour one out for all of our lost time. Or are there any things that you wish you could do better? That's also something admirable to try to achieve. To, you know, try to get better at something. I have, I have a weird motto that I've been using for the last like decade. Your watering can is ready. Yeah, thanks. Um, and it's that I always want to be one percent better. At anything I do, the next time I do it, I just need to be one percent better at it, and and I just get better and better and better at doing things. And um, sometimes it's not as linear, and sometimes it's more ups and downs, but generally speaking over the course of time i just try to get better and better at things and don't try to make giant leaps um because that's how you burn out on stuff all right weather report tomorrow it's gonna be cloudy okay that's fine There's nothing wrong with that queen of sauce give it to me greetings it is i the queen of sauce here to teach you a new mouth watering recipe from my secret cookbook this week's dish coleslaw envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage you're not alone but a great coleslaw can be so much more Make sure you have juicy, fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you are all set. Ah, that's crisp. Cool. You know, I'm I'm not like a massive coleslaw person. I'm not like, a, like, like I have to have coleslaw. It's, it's good. It's definitely more of a Southern thing in the United States, I feel. But I'll tell you what, Kentucky Fried Chicken has some good coleslaw. I don't know why I like their coleslaw so much, but I do. That and biscuits. They got great biscuits. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there. All right, what do you got this time? Halibut? I think I need a halibut and an octopus. Uh, we'll, t we'll take a look. Complete breakfast, hot pepper, tortilla, oak resin. The oak resin is definitely something that I need, uh, but I can get that 
So let's let's check on the halibut and the octopus. I don't think I need those. You know, I am gonna go ahead and buy the oak resin because I know that I'm gonna be able to turn that in soon because it's like the the enchanter's bundle. I think is what it just said. I was just looking at it. It's now out of my brain. But I need to um, let's clear a path here. Things are things are getting out of hand. Oh man, did I, oh I did bring the hook. Good. I've got a book. I don't want a book. I want clay. Give me clay. <laughs> There's other ways to get clay, but I'm just like hoping to kind of get it from the wormies at the moment. Oh, we should go to the beach too. That's something I haven't done yet. Anyways, so yeah, with the oak resin, I think I just need one more thing from the enchanter's bundle. Um, and then I can turn that one into. So like we could just kind of knock a bunch of stuff out right away when we get that one unlocked. Um, but I need the cauliflower to do that. And you know what? I think I only got like one day left on that cauliflower. So I just gotta, I just gotta water it. Hope for the best tomorrow. Oh, I found her axe. Totally forgot about that. I forgot that. I thought. I don't know why in my head I was remembering her axe being in somebody's room, but you know what it is. I forgot about that until just now. It's not the axe that I was thinking of. It was. Let's go in here. Do doesn't somebody's underpants exist in one of these rooms? I think the mayor has like has something for her. I think that's what it is. Oh, that was weird. Let's pop back out here and now they're doing an event. Ew, it smells. Dot dot dot. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? That's not a realistic dialogue because like there's like 30 people in this town. You know who Gunther is. There's not another Gunther. I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. Fair. It's probably a gator. There's something moving around in there. Definitely a sewer gator. <laughs> oh gosh, just like, I'm gonna walk. This is just like how I am with my kids. Yep. <laughs> They're like, there's someone. Oh my goodness. I have a funny, funny story for you guys. Um, our oldest, who is now 13, but last year he was 12. He was going through, uh, of course, yes, that's how math works, Zen. <laughs> Why did I say it that way? <laughs> Anyways, I've just thrown off my entire story. He, um, last year was going through this thing where he'd wake up in the middle of the night and swear that he heard somebody downstairs or heard somebody in the house and we're like you didn't you didn't hear anybody in the house there's nobody in the house he's like but you know like how do you know it's like because we're in the house too and we would hear if someone came in our house because the only way to get in the house is to like break a window <laughs> be very obvious we lock all the doors we have you know the um we have electronic uh what is it called what's the what's the word i'm looking for Let's read this first. Maybe I'll come to me. On foraging, the local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from these areas. So the wild produce has plenty of space to grow. Expert foragers know the secret to cultivating a wild food so that it can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> right. Uh, let's donate this and get rid of it. So I open up a spot. I'm running into inventory issues because I picked up the spring onions. Anyway, so yeah, he he would like come in and swear that he heard or saw somebody. And we have, you know, we have an app on our phone that lets us know when things are unlocked or, and whatnot. Um, and <laughs> he just would come, he would come to our room just terrified. Like, like, like um, hyperventilating terrified, like actually terrified. 
that somebody was in the house. And it would, it would occur like over the course of a week, like three times. And we're like, what? Like you came in last night and there was nobody in the house and you came in tonight. Guess what? There's nobody in the house. And he's like, no, you don't understand. There's definitely someone in the house. We're like, okay, where? And he'd be like in, you know, in Zen's, uh, you know, using my actual name, uh, office. And we're like, what? Like why in the office? He'd be like, I don't know, but there's, he's sitting at, like, whoever it is is sitting at the painting desk. Like, why is there someone in breaking into our house and sitting at my painting desk? Like, the least, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, it was definitely a, um, every night was like a new, a new thing. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toes off the other one I was using. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Anyways, like, yeah, we, we it's just been like, what, like, you're coming up with the weirdest excuses. Hi, she says, do you have fun working on the farm? Oh, yes, I do. Well, that's good, isn't it? Are you, like, making fun of me? I feel like she's making fun of me. She's like, do you actually have fun doing farming? I'm like, yeah, I do. It's, it's actually kind of relaxing, kind of fun, and cathartic. She's like, ha. Huh. I bet it is. What, you, but Maru, come on now. I like. I wanted to like get to know you. I feel like you're pushing me away. Maybe she's not interested. You know, maybe I need to take a hint. Maybe I need to move on. Abigail likes farmers, right? Anyway, so yeah, he was just like a new new story every night that he would come in. It would be three times a week at least. It just we finally got sick of it. So I sat all of the kids down, <laughs> and I was just like, "Here are the statistics for breaking and entering." <laughs> It's like, it almost always happens during the day, not at night when you guys are sleeping. Why? Because people are home at night. They don't want to break in. Like, you know, thieves aren't looking to kill people, generally. They just want money, and they 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 will scout a place out, and it's like, they'll go when nobody's home. And we have an electric um, uh, system for our whole house, for, for our, what's that word? I'm like, like, not alarm, security system. There we go. So it's like, we, you know, we got it all, we got it all figured out. Like we, we'll know if something is left open at night because we look and we'll go and remedy that. So then the only way in the house because of the, you know, how deadbolts and stuff work on doors is going to be to break a window. And guess what? We'll know about that. So we like gave them all the stats and everything and happened maybe three to four more times or he came in the room just terrified. And, uh, then, then it just stopped and he stopped coming in. I was like, oh man, I'm so proud of him. Like he's, he's done it. He's grown up. He's not terrified of anybody in the house. And then it was like, it was like six months later. <laughs> I, cause I stay up late and I, I work pretty late. Um, it's just how I, it's how I operate. So if you're new to the channel, you, congratulations. Now you know that I, I'm up late when I'm working. <laughs> And I went, I went to go downstairs. My office is upstairs. His room is upstairs. And I was heading downstairs. I opened up the office door. All the lights are like off in the hall and everything. And the only light that's on in my, in my office is my undermounted light on my desk. Okay. And so it's like a faint light coming through the office. And I walk out and I start heading downstairs and his door's right by the stairs and he opens it up. And of course I'm right there. I've never heard him more terrified. <laughs> oh, kids are funny. Kids are really, really funny sometimes. You know, I was going to buy a bunch of seeds and plant them, but I'm going to upgrade my bag real quick. I'm tired. I'm tired of the like absolute no space that I have. Let's double it now. Um, and then as far as everything else, we have the new upgraded watering can. So I'm totally cool. We're just going all in on like potatoes or parsnips. Uh, potatoes take six days. Parsnips take four days. Uh, we have until the 28th of the month. It is the 14th. So I need to like, this would, this would take us to the 18th. That would take us to the 20th. Maybe I go potatoes on this one. Because it has a chance of yielding multiple potatoes. Or maybe I just go more cauliflower. What am I doing? Just go cauliflower. Wait, 12 days. 12 to 14, 16, 10. 12. Okay, yeah, we have <laughs> had to do the math. Just making sure. Just making sure. 
Oh, you know what? I realized I totally whiffed with the watering can and didn't actually utilize its upgraded function. I just watered all this stuff, so I just wasted a bunch of energy. But hey, you know what? Do as I do as I say, not as I do. Right? Right? Isn't that how that's supposed to work? Who am I missing that I haven't greeted? We should, we should check real quick. Let's go to social. Do, do, do. We know all their names. I'm looking for the question marks. Last one. Oh, where's he at? Wait, isn't that the general store? Isn't that Pierre? Am I, wait, am I crazy? Isn't that Pierre? It's, it's past the time that he's at the shop, but I believe it is. How have I, how is it technically that I've not met him? Come on, game. I've like, I've bought so much crap from him. Is this actually a life lesson? Oh, I should have brought the uh, chest and put it down, but I totally forgot. Don't need it for this one, I'm not gonna be in here long. But is this like a life lesson of like, no, just because you go to a store, and you buy stuff and you see someone pretty frequently doesn't mean you know who they are. And you know, maybe you should like, you know, talk to them and feel a lot better about yourself afterwards. Hate these things. Go away, moths. At least my weapon is slightly better than it was, huh? All right, all right, let's see if we can double whammy them. Eh, not as good as I wanted. Oh, hey, got the uh, journal update on that. What does it give me? Into the Adventurer's Guild. Okay, cool. So we can um we can do that when we're done in the mine because we now know that it's open till 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. rather, um every day. All right, I made it to 26, but I think I'm done in the mine for now. I'm out of energy, and um I've gotten quite a bit of stuff, just like little tiny bits here and there. Got two hardwood actually. That's kind of nice. Um, hardwood we're gonna need a lot of later, so it's good to start collecting it even just now. But let's go head over into here. Let's see what they want from us. Uh, did, did that give it? No, nope, just journal updated. Okay. So we could sell crap to him if I so choose. Uh, he does have better swords for us. So, which is ours. Uh, it doesn't, I hate that it doesn't tell you when it, you hover it over it. Um, but he's got a bunch of cool stuff. Do I need him? Not right this moment. Um, we got to kill a thousand slimes, 150 blah, blah, 200 blah, blah. We've killed 31 of 80 cave insects. We're getting there. There's so much stuff. Can I talk to the old man? Come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Man, these old guys are so cool. Long-term viewers of the channel will will know that the top right corner of my screen is cursed. <laughs> because I just, I always, I, the, people, game designers, oh, goodness, I can't, I just can't speak. Game designers put stuff in the top right corner as if it's like the most important spot on the screen and uh, my microphone happens to cover a portion of the top right part of the where's my watering can oh there it is I can't see it now because it's a different color and because because it's constantly covered by my microphone I, I I'm having a hard time seeing the time so I cut that one kind of close you know <laughs> To be honest, that was, that was almost not, uh, you know, not good for us when it was passed out there. Didn't make a lot of money this time around. Um, is it just the mayonnaise there? Yeah, it is. What else was this? This was just spring onions and leeks. All right, that's not so bad. What do we need to do now? Like, I got to consider my next day and how to plan that out. It's not going to be rainy. Um, I, maybe I go fishing. Maybe that's what I do. Because we're going to get cauliflower which means we can go put the bundle complete. We can go turn in a bunch of other bundle stuff. And then I can either go digging or fishing. I kind of feel like I should go fishing for some more money.